The first pro with this Toyota 4Runner, this particular one at least, is the way that it looks. I love this XP model with the 17 inch TRD matte black wheels, the chunky all-terrain tires, and the blacked out badging throughout the vehicle. It just looks proper. It looks like a unit. You feel like you're operating a tank on a day-to-day -day basis. So it just adds to the character, to the charisma, and to the fun of you know, daily driving something like this. It's cool. It's not your everyday soccer mom type SUV, right? It looks cool. The next pro, it's going to be with the way that it drives. It also drives better than what most people give it credit for. Your everyday handling maneuvers are fine. Obviously, it's not a Porsche GT3, so it's at limit handling sucks, but everyday left hand, right hand turns, that's fine. The body roll is pretty well contained. Your occupants are not flipping over all over the place. The engine, it's that glorious four liter, naturally aspirated V6, 270 horsepower, 278 pounds feet of torque, made it to this five speed automatic. When you floor it in this, it literally sounds like it's supercharged or something. It's most likely transmission wine, whatever it is, it sounds amazing. I love it, but that engine, is a pro and a con okay yes we love the character yes we love the dependability of it but it is very slow and if you drive this hard you are literally getting hellcat levels of fuel economy and that's not cool and that's the biggest problem most people have with these toyota products you're getting hellcat levels of fuel economy but nowhere near that type of performance going back to the pros the interior space is a huge pro in my eyes because the build quality, the fit and finish is very high. Nothing is creaking and rattling. You feel like you can just take a sledgehammer to this interior space and it would come out okay. That's how it feels like in here. And that's something that the newer Toyota products like the new Tundras I've tested, they don't have that, but they give you the illusion of quality, but it doesn't have the same level of fit and finish like these old school forerunners and the tacomas even and unlike the tacomas the ergonomics are much better here your seating position is a lot better granted once you get up there in height six foot five and above then you might start running into some issues with driving position steering wheel position etc and if you're really short then getting in and out of this could also be difficult even if you use the side steps here so that could still be a a con but for the most part i like the way everything is laid out in here the ease of accessing your hvac your infotainment your gauge cluster it's also simplistic and it's really missing from a lot of modern day vehicles i really like what we have here with the physical buttons and the knobs and being the sr5 premium model we have here the upgraded soft tex seating they're very comfortable you get eight way driver adjustable seats with the lumbar the lumbar support really makes this comfortable on a long trip as well but one con is going to be some idiotically designed you know cubby spaces we have a massive rectangle here which you would assume you can put a cell phone here but no modern day cell phone would really fit in this space it's just kind of awkward and kind of useless your phone is just going to fly out of it same thing with these two cubbies in the front console you can't really put anything in there. It's just going to fly out, so that's kind of pointless. Fortunately, the armrest space is massive. Same thing with the glove box. And adding to the practicality, it's the rear window, which you can control with the switch here. It goes up and down, so you can put longer items in the trunk, hang it out the back window. That's pretty cool. A lot of people love that regarding these forerunners. The rear seating space is also massive. In the second row, I have plenty of headroom leg room not a problem but we do have here a third row and i don't think every forerunner comes with that but this one does and it's totally useless that's a con but that's okay because i don't think most people buy a forerunner as a third row uh, vehicle so i personally just leave that down and enjoy this as a practical two row product the only other con I wanted to bring to your attention, it may or may not matter to you, but it's the towing figure. We have here the rear wheel drive model and Toyota says this can tow 5,000 pounds, which is not great for a body on frame product. 
a new Pathfinder tows 6,000 pounds and it's not body on frame. I would have at least liked to see 6,500 pounds, but if you're not gonna be towing with this, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. Finally, the biggest pro of this is the incredible resale value of it. You can pile up the miles in this and not really lose much money buying this 4Runner. That's part of the reason why you see so many of these out on the road. Yes, it can be a little pricey to purchase, brand new and the fuel economy doesn't help but the resale value does so once you're done having fun with this you can literally just drive it back to the dealership and they'll give you a great price for the trade-in so you get to drive this really cool looking product that is satisfactory and that is brand new and you can do so while being rest assured that the resale value is going to be great i mean hindsight is 2020 with this whole EV movement, we're not really sure what ICE vehicles are gonna do. It could go up, it could go down, but as of right now, with the data that we have, Forerunners have historically held their value extremely well. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. That's my pros and cons video. Hopefully this was valuable to you. If you've been shopping for a new Forerunner, let us know in the comment section if the dealerships are easy to work with, if you're able to get any decent deals on these Forerunners. I would like to hear your thoughts. But that's it for this video. I'll have my next video on the end screen here. Click on it and I will see you there.